June 5th, Monday, in inspection day, final inspection day for the garage, the ever, everlasting, never finished garage project. But it's done. It's going to get noisy. I had to go in and shut the generator off and open up the garage door. But we're going to walk the garden. Ow, lots of corn coming up. I think it was me. It's a little bitty right now, but don't make it. Okay, it's going to get loud. so it's dark. Yeah, we gotta open our garage door manually. No electricity, no running water. So, yesterday we put some of the finishing touches on until I hit the corner of the garage with the bucket on the tractor. <laughs> I don't know, let's say I hit, not this, not the new truck, but the truck before this, last year I hit the tailgate with the bucket of the truck. Then we got the garage airtight, or weather tight, I should say. And the tractor has a roll bar, or what they call a ROPS on it, and I didn't take it down, and I told myself to take it down because it wouldn't go through the garage door. The garage door isn't high enough. And I forgot to do it and hit it, busted the header on the door, had to take the whole door down, replace the header as you guys seen before. Um, but it's it's back up. Um, I gotta fix one, take one of the new solar lights down. It's not working. But the one on the back does work. We got two of those. They're brand new. So I'm gonna change these two on the front out. The front of the garage. That is, I'm gonna change those two out and put the one on the back over the door I just put up yesterday out. And we had uh, 10 yards of 22 AA brought in for the driveway and the grading around the garage. So we got the driveway somewhat done. It's not completely done yet. There's still some bumps and valleys in it. I gotta pull a lot of this over to get it up near the garage so the garage doesn't, uh, there isn't no valley between before the garage and the driveway in the middle of the apron going up to the driveway. Uh, so we will be going back to our, our other house today, but we're going to bring you around and show you the garden and how it's doing. If I can get this camera done right without strapping my coffee coffee drinkers, Steffi and I. So, let's see here. If I can get down into this corn. It's just now starting to come up. Somewhere, there it is right there. But there's all kinds of it coming up down the rows. I gotta put T-posts on this all the way around it to keep the deer out. Last year all the corn was up and the deer would come all the way around 10 and a half acres of corn in this ag field all the way up to our garden just to eat the garden. Pass up all the corn, the clover food plot I put in, the brassicas, they, they, wanted, they wanted the garden. So We'll go down row one. Tomato Alley. Oh, that's what looks like a variegated tomato. But I think it's the leaves on it are just dead. Sunburnt. Sunburnt, sun scorched. 
there is no shade on this farm at all in the yard where the house is going to be. <clears throat> These are your crazy purple through here. And we get into our red brandy wines. Ooh, my favorites. The Actually, blacks. These are all red. Here we start our black brandy wines. Oh, they're my favorites. Those there are put in the salsa. Ooh, give away a secret. We gotta come and prune them today. Clean them up. No, in our luck, Chris, the inspector, probably won't be here till right when he gets off a shift and we'll have to spend all day here. Oh, no. These are our Super Sue's. I don't even know what a Super Sue is because we didn't get it's them a from slicer. Karen. slicer. We used to get her. I dealt with Karen, this lady who grows uh, organic, not organic, heirlooms. I dealt with her for over 20 years. Michigan Heirlooms, if you guys want to look it up, I'll give her a plug. She has amazing, amazing plants, but she typically, when she opens up, they're pretty much already spoken for. You can go on our website and it's put your order in early at the beginning of the year, and she puts the date out on our website about when you can pick them up. She will not give them to you early. But you go pick them up and pay her then. And typically they're they're sold out minus what she holds back for people that uh, she forgot to put or ran out of and then give them a choice of something else. So she always takes care of her customers and grows amazing plants. What are all these? These are your beef steaks. The, the rest of this row is all beef steak. All beef steak. Ah, that's daddy's favorite. It's the best one to put on a sandwich, son. Be careful for the sunflowers at the end of the row. Uh, oh, that is, that looks like a sunflower right there. Uh -huh. Yeah, I planted some sporadically throughout the garden. I gotta weed it, but the planting came yeah, first. 60 foot tomato row, yeehaw, another one. Watch the sunflowers. I see it, you told me that yesterday. <laughs> Pepper plants. These are more tomatoes, all different varieties too. These are the Wisconsin 55s. The peppers are just random because they died, so I threw some extras in. Got to bring more back next weekend. They weren't labeled very well, so it's it's mystery pepper rose. Trust me, I will taste test every one of them, yeah. unless it looks like a Carolina Reaper. The Reapers or... died. They all died. Oh no! They didn't make it. These are aromas. This is the Roma area. Roma's didn't be so hot, but let's see if we can get some out making some good uh, salsa. This one, I do have some of them. This is a, a, it was a free packet of seeds from Baker's Creek. Is it the till pepper? Daddle pepper? I don't know how to say half Can't say I've ever had one. This is a sugar rush peach. Plants look pretty good. Some burn on the leaves a little aromas. bit, but this is some jalapenos. These I just planted yesterday, so I threw some uh, earthworm castings in there, some bone meal, some blood meal, trying to give it every chance I can have to survive. <clears throat> Romas, bread and salt, tomatoes that were coming up on there. Got another little sunflower. These are all, this row is all cherries. I got Aunt Molly's crown cherries. I've got black cherries and Chadwick cherries. So this whole row with the purple and silver tea posts are all my cherries. Oh. So I kind of put them out that way. I can't pronounce any of these. Maybe you can. Ananas, nor. No, no. I guess I need to do some Google translation. All these are those same ones. This is the San Marzanos, or however you say those. Starting here, these big ones. I just got a different, a bunch of different varieties to see which ones we like the best. 
Next year I won't have so many, but um, anything that we have extra, we'll just donate to a food bank. People call or message us on Facebook and say, how much are your plant starters? Well, they're $4. Okay, let me know when your price goes down. Yeah, it's not going to go down. I mean, here's just a hodgepodge because I'm bringing in some of the leftover plants, but you know, decided to uh, plant as many as I can. This is a doing really well. See, it's in an area that I can't get to it with the tractor or the weed whip. Yes. Let me get that one. So again, these are just all our cherries. These are the pumpkins. These first two, these first four here. I just planted um, these three yesterday. I don't know, they don't look too hot. But these are the sugar pie pumpkins. Yeah, they're laying face down in the mulch. Yeah. These are the howden pumpkins. Looks like they're pouting. Yeah. That's right, our, our garden plants pout. They have emotion. These are all butternut squash in this area. We got love butternut. We get our fair share of butternut over here. And this is where the serious work goes, right there in that chair. <laughs> Crochet needles. No, not in here. Or knitting needles. Too sunny. Cantaloupes in the containers. In the oh, they're going to go up the trellis. Here's better cantaloupe. Yeah, that one, that one hooked right on that cage, yeah, didn't it? Look at that. This morning. No, it wrapped itself around it. Yeah, I did that this morning. I wrapped it. Oh, okay. Uh, sunflower. These are zucchinis, yellow squash. Oh golden boy, zucchini. those are way close. They're gonna get, that's gonna be a jackpot of fruit and vegetables. Yeah, I know they're fruit, really, vegetables. really close, but I don't suspect half of them are gonna survive. I was gonna say, yeah, that's gonna they're gonna get all and you're gonna come so, up with a new one like we did that year. That that half half breed of whatever it was. That was fun. Then I got some yellow scale up squash in here, black beauty zucchini, um cord hook zucchinis. I've got all different kinds. Yes, they are very close, but as you can see, I suspect the deer are gonna eat a lot of them. The critters are going to, and like this one right here, I've got a pullet. I just planted it yesterday. So I know they're not going to survive, not all of them. So the, only the strong survive. Mm -hmm. The banana pe peppers, I'm going to take them home and up pot them. So maybe next weekend they'll be ready to uh, plant. But I just brought them out on a field trip. <laughs> the zinnias. In here I just scattered some <clears throat> wild um, flower seeds. And I water it, hoping some wild flowers will come up for the hummingbirds. It is so hard to plant a garden here, especially if you're in a drought like we are. Oh, this has been awful. Because this is clay. And when I say clay, it's like concrete. It's so hard. Yeah. It's terrible. Trust me, I fell off the ladder 13 foot down, and it hurt. I guess anywhere you fall off a ladder 13 foot, it's going to hurt. But These are peppers as well. I think a lot of this <clears throat> row is lemon spice. I don't know. We'll find out. I got habanadas. I got a habanero, which the habanero doesn't look too good. No, he's pouting too. He's really pouting. So I'll come back and sprinkle some fertilizer on it. Somewhere. That one got eaten by something. Yeah. Chopped off or something. And this jalapeno, I think, got eaten. Wow. These That's got new growth on it, though. New leaves. Yep. I'm just going to cut off the dead. Here's some jalapenos. This one's looking pretty good. These are jalapenos because you like your jalapenos. Jalapeno, yes. And then I threw out the extra red noodle beans that I had. I don't know how well they're going to do on this. They need a big trellis, but this is what I had. That's what I did. I explained to everybody that it's it's our way. It may not be the right way, but it's our way. That's another fun flower. Oh, that means uh, we walk by a cell camera and got a picture taken. This is Bean Alley. So I've got um, garbanzo beans along this makeshift trellis. This is what we had at the time. We didn't have the twine out, so I just threw something up. Garbanzo beans along the trellis. These are bush beans down here. Something to eat them. See how I just, I keep opening up new spaces because things are dying. So I just, these are just some cucumbers. My no water is. and mid 90s. Does not bode well for a garden. No, my pickles, pickling cucumbers didn't quite survive. 
in no well to water, so. And water all of it. These are peas. <clears throat> These are all peas along here. Please. Oh, you can see how dry it is. Yeah, this is really cracked and. Yeah, this is just terrible. But look how beautiful these are. I know they're supposed to be on a trellis, but I can't get anything down in this clay right now, so we're just going to see what peas will do. These are all peas. So they're all just scattered throughout here, so I can't do a straight line to fit my line. That's okay. It makes it interesting. Oh. You get to walk a garden like you're drunk. Even though we don't drink. Oh, that poor Thuja Giant is just dead. Dead. It has seen its better day. Yeah, I think you're right. I don't know who would have done that. Garlic. Blame it on blame it on Tyler, the farm manager. And here's where I started planting some asparagus just to see if it would take. It did not like this line. So I'll have to build a raised bed for an asparagus bed. I started my cabbage. They're not doing so hot, but again, clay. They look good. They look good, but they're just not really growing. I got a couple that are growing, but they're getting eaten. Deer population. Yeah. So raccoon. I took care of the part of the raccoon problem. So you can see where they ate the center out of that one. Yeah. Wow. But again, knowing that we're not here all the time, I knew that a lot was going to That looks like no. So got some lettuces. I got a cucumber on that trellis. You've been, eat, you've been eating lettuce for how long? A couple of weeks. No, you were eating it at the house. Oh, well, yeah. But I got some more lettuces. I'm going to bring a lot of this home. If you come up in there, I've got a red noodle bean. Wow, there. these look really, really good. Yeah. Leaves look all shiny and pretty and happy. They're not pouting. Nope. But see, they're getting tall. They're about to bolt on me, so I'm just going to cut Lettuce, them. you need to take your juju over there and talk to those peppers and tell them to quit pouting. Oh, I think I got a good red noodle bean. It's starting to produce new growth. So the goal is that it's going to go all the way up over this trellis. That's the goal. Right now, it's full of LED lights that <laughs> twinkle at night. I got my spaghetti squash here. I got some more cauliflower in this row, but it's a different kind. We'll see. Got some hollyhocks planted throughout. There's my broccoli rob. I don't know how to say it. I let it go to flowers, and then I'm just leaving the flowers for the pollinators. It just didn't really produce anything. It went straight from seedling to flowers because we weren't, you know, it's too hot, 90s. And then I have some sweet potatoes that I bought. I don't believe they're going to make it. They're pretty, pretty dead looking. But I'm going to keep watering them. I don't know. Never planted them before. To the right, and there's red. Those are the beets. Oh, yeah. I see that down there. No. I don't know if they're going to make it. Yeah. No tags in that, obviously, because the ground's too hard to get the tags in. Yeah. Careful where you're stepping. I see you're it. You're getting into carrots. 